Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg, I'm gonna go over Ethereum and give you my take on what could be going on here. Just made a video on uh, Bitcoin. And by the way, do me a huge favor. Be really, really appreciated. Just drop a like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, You know, it's always been confusing what uh, Ethereum did in there, guys. But, you know, I came to the conclusion that uh, it was just a funky wave. And I was like, look, if Bitcoin went up into an impulse wave, pretty sure Ethereum did the same thing too. So, and the other assets just comparing it. And what I think it did, it had an ending diagonal for a uh, fifth wave, guys. That's what it did. Here's your third wave all the way up there. There's a first wave down here. Third, this is a fourth wave. One, two, three, four, boom, five. It was just probably uh, had that fifth wave thrust because um, probably in a third wave, in my opinion. First of a third wave. You have a good shot of that. Just take a look at uh, Ethereum on the daily. You can see this leg right here. Boom, taking it down. Um, you can go through some other time frames too here and look at the stochastics on the two day. Um, the RSI getting down here. I got more downside, guys, for these assets. Okay. There's going to be more downside. The market is going to get more scared and I'm telling you it's going to be dropping like a rock. Three day stochastic down there. Four day down there. Okay. Just checking through these time frames, guys. You know, the fifth fifth is working on there. The fifth five days probably not updated yet. And the weekly is probably not updated yet. But you can see here on the weekly uh stochastics. Um coming back down. And on Sunday, today's Thursday. So Sunday night, this will reset. It could maybe even be all the way down there, guys. Okay. And this will be down a little bit more. So let's go to Ethereum and check this out. Look at the momentum indicators, guys. Okay. So this clearly right here is a five wave impulse and it came up and now it's gonna be doing another impulse down guys. And the same thing as Bitcoin, same thing as Bitcoin. You got a ninth little wave and maybe in this area and then come back down just like so, just like so. And then you have a wave sequence in there, it's come back down. So what I'm checking out for Ethereum, okay? For Ethereum is right here is this target, okay? Um, I'm going to take a fib extension here and measure that wave and then go up there, get that wave, right? So right in this area, right in this area, I'm checking out, okay? So there you come back up, finish up this leg all the way back down there, okay? And where's it go to? Right over here, right there, guys. You see that spot? This is going to be the section right here for Ethereum. Because this is more than likely a fourth wave, guys. Okay? I'll show you. You go to a four-hour chart. This down here is your first wave. One, two. And this whole section, this is your, your third wave and your fifth of your thirds right there. And this came over for your fourth wave. Okay? Your fourth. No, excuse me. This is your third wave right here. Okay? And this is the uh, beginning of this whole diagonal wave over here. So it's one, two, three, four. Um, or the four could be there. Four. And then one, two, three, four, five. Like so. Okay? But this is the area right in this section. I think it's going to come down one to one on the target. Okay? That's what I'm checking out. So it's going to be more downside for Ethereum to bring it back down, guys. And uh, you have... Absolutely, a, um, a potentially massive um, bullish count here with Ethereum, guys. Okay. You clearly have an impulsive move right here and it corrected it. Okay. Right there. So you clearly have an impulse move here. You have a potential for another one right here. So, like this, I'll just make it okay. Up here is your one and then come back down like so, right? You don't want it to come much deeper than on top of that wave. Um, that's another good clue to look for, too, where it's going to correct to. Because if it stays on top of that wave, it comes back down and touches the top of this wave and stays above there. You have yourself your one, two, one, two. It's making a, it's making a nest. Okay. So it's what's called a nest. A nest 
of the one twos, one twos. You did like you see them. Uh, sometimes you'll see them like this, you know, one two, and then sometimes like that. Okay, and then boom. Okay, so there was a uh, video or a, an article um, I was making, not an article, but a uh, tweet or tweet I was making, and they had a video like about this pattern. Uh, I can't remember the name of the pattern, but you know, big, 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 big one, one twos. And then there's just a serious smoke show after that. So is NASDAQ doing that? Uh, I don't know. It could be, it could be guys, but here's the thing with Ethereum is that you have this back here too, guys. Okay. You have a uh, impulsive type move back here too. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Something like, something like that. Let me check that out real quick. And see what we have back here with Ethereum. Could be setting up for a series thrust. Um, yeah, it's like this. It's like this. One, two, three, four, five. So that's your third wave right there. And back here is your one, two, three, four, and your five. So that's impulsive move. And then you got your correction over here, all the way to over here. And that's a one, two. You see? You see, you want to pay attention to Ethereum right now, guys. All right? I know you can go over those other stations, man. You can go over those other stations, right? And you're going to be told, oh, you know, it's all big bears going to go down like a rock. Hey, I can't predict the future, but I see this setup, and I'm going to be paying attention. So you got a big one, two right there, right? And then you got another one right here. You got another one right here, right? One, two. You see that size? You see that size right there? Big, bigger and a little bit smaller. And then you got another one potentially right over here. One, two. You see, that's a little bit smaller. And then if you go to that chart, I can't remember the name of that chart. Some, some sort of melt-up chart, I remember. So the thing went like this. One, it was like a wave there and it went way right there and a wave right there. And it had it just like that. And it made a line right there and a line right there. And they're like, this is the trader's dream. This is the trader's dream. And you enter in. They say you enter in right here. And it has a smoke show over there. Okay? It has a smoke show over there. So now we have, if you check this out, look. Look at right here, Ethereum. Okay? You want to pay attention. You see? Look at that. So you see? I'm telling you, go look at the chart. I have it on Twitter. It looks just like that. You see? Right here. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. So. Right there, you want to pay attention to this, guys. Right in this area, you know. I mean, what do you think are like? Let's say Ethereum's right there, seventeen oh six, sixteen fifty, maybe. And you know, you just put your stops a little bit down there, man. If you're paranoid and you're worried about it, and it's all going to go to zero or something like that, guys. But you know, this this is uh this is pretty good setup for Ethereum, I think, guys. I mean, like the only let's go let's go with the bearish count. What could the bearish count be, right? All right, this was ABC, ABC, and maybe this is ABC. Yeah, you could do that. It could be that, potentially. Um, I would still expect upside on it. I would still expect it to go up to 2450. I would expect it to at least get up there, okay? And really with the cryptocurrency, you could, ha you could have higher numbers up there. I mean, like with a wave like that, and you got like some sort of um, flat type move. ABC comes back down. That could, that's deep enough, more likely for a cryptocurrency flat. And then boom, you know, I would still expect higher, even with the flat move, guys. But this is undeniable. It's undeniable, guys. I mean, like one, two, one, two, one, two. You know, it's, this, this right here is really, I mean, it could really just rip over there, potentially, guys. I mean, like rip. Have a serious rip show like smoke show smoke show beyond belief right over here guys so just look for you know it's a setup it's a setup it's undeniable setup and uh i'm not gonna miss that guys i'll wait for that just so a little bit more how much more time who knows it, this could be another week two weeks um three weeks but that that's the area right there in that area guys okay for ethereum all right and let me take a look at the ETH btc chart see if we have any Thing going on here mostly got to check the weekly on this one 
to uh, see if we got a little setup going on with the EPTC chart over here. And, um, you know, I'm still expecting this thing to uh, maybe, you know, this, this is pretty hard to suss out, you know, uh, up, back, down. So it's it's pretty difficult to suss out. It could drop back down here, maybe more, and then get out of there. But it's just really taking its time, isn't it? But here's your left shoulder, here's a head, and here's a right shoulder, like so, right? And wherever this will go, maybe back back down like that, something like that, right? I mean, maybe it won't, but it's uh, you know, that that's a thing right there. It's very hard to to suss out, you know. I mean, what is the count on that? I'm not gonna waste my time with something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. But here's your here's your left shoulder head, and let's call the uh, let's put the neckline right here, just like this. Okay. So the chart, and then here's your uh, your neck. You know, breaking up that area, and then it should be going up through there, and then boom, like that. You know. Be conservative and go something like that. So this is when Ethereum did its blast off in June of uh, 22. Okay. And now it's coming down to correct it. Right. Boom. And then once it gets up above there, boom. You know, so there should be an Ethereum smoke show just like so, guys. Let's check out the uh, RSI, see what it's telling us. Yeah. Up in that wave, it's coming down to correct it. Probably a little bit more. You know, come down some more in this area. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. You know, I would say it's probably more downside. You have a good shot for that, something like that. And then it'll be out over there. Wave here, back down, wave over there. I think this is going to take some people by surprise, guys. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.